Science and technology is a proven game changer in affecting meaningful and lasting progress in the community. Something that the DOST wants every community in the Philippines to be equipped with. Thus, it has launched its Smart and Sustainable Communities program to achieve that goal. Rod Lagusa tells us more. Part of the advantages brought by science, technology, and innovation are the development of an area or the improvement on the lives of the people. Under the Smart and Sustainable Communities program, the Department of Science and Technology will bring the science directly to communities. Secretary Renato Soledum Jr. said smart technology is not only limited to internet-based methods and applications. He said it also includes others with actual applications, such as in agriculture, transportation, to name a few. Depending on the need of uh, the, uh, the community, it can be a barangay, it can be a town or city, then the appropriate application of the smart technology will be done. We can look at the promotion of human well-being that would address health concerns, address issues on food, nutrition, access to clean water. Also, foremost is the creation of wealth using smart technology. Aside from the DOST, the Department of Interior and Local Government, Department of Information and Communications Technology, and Development Academy of the Philippines are also part of the program. When it comes to a particular technology, it is preferable to have both short and long-term adoption given its integration in the LGU system. The DAP said it is important that both the executive and legislative components of the local government units share the same goals for the continuous implementation of the programs. To produce these spaces of innovation, yun po ang ang talagang pananaw namin dito. So if we look at the kabuuan ng ating bansa, mas maganda po na mar marami tayo makreate na mga spaces where innovation can transpire. To engage more LGUs, according to the DLG, that is one of the deliverables of the department under the MOU. Not to provide them with incentive program or to recognize or provide grant facility by way of cash incentives or other forms of reward. So this is one way also of enticing them now to participate and give all their best for the successful implementation of the program. According to the DOST, many LGUs from the different parts of the country have already reached out to be part of the program. Rod Lagusad for the nation.